Welcome back to the Overcomfort Podcast. I'm your host, Jenica Lopez. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this beautiful Tuesday morning or whatever the day of the week it is for you. I took a very much well-needed two-week break. I was on vacation for my birthday and I got back and needed to recalibrate, recenter myself and put myself together to be able to give you guys my all. I am so excited to be talking to you guys and to just work our brains a little bit. I was out in Europe um, doing a lot of reflecting. I Like I said, it was for my birthday and I was very, very grateful to be able to be out in Europe on my dream trip and I was just thanking God and I just remember having a moment and I was sitting like wow tears were flowing and I was like thank you Jesus because I have been blessed I have financially been blessed to be able to save the money to be able to go I've been planning for this trip for like two years I've been saving the money because going to Europe isn't cheap and I know the type of person I am I want to be able to be enjoy myself and be flexible and do as I please so I am very proud to say that I saved up my very own money um, from all my hard work. And I just realized, like, thank you, God, for all the work that you have blessed me with to be able to make it here. And I just realized, like, wow, I'm in a whole nother space of my life that I feel like everybody deserves to be in. And I'm not talking about financially. I'm talking about spiritually, emotionally. And the end of the year is coming around and I thought I'm like how do I want to finish the year do I want to finish the year or start off the year do I want to finish the year strong or start off the year strong and usually and I feel like everybody can relate when the end of the year comes around we all just kind of tend to be lazy flop out like not really care like okay we'll just do it for the beginning of the year the new year new me you know we all set this expectation and i've talked about it before we just set these expectations on ourselves we put too much pressure and it just doesn't end up happening and then we end up here again nine ten months down the road and you're just waiting for the new year to come around again and i thought i'm like why do we why do us humans tend to leave things for the new year like it sounds nice but why doesn't it sound better to end the year off strong and go into and already going into the new year with like this clear mindset and more prepared than ever. And I saw some TikToks and I saw um, people doing winter arc, which is and I've done like the seventy day hard like in the middle of the year and um and those type of challenges per se. Let's say so winter arc is basically a challenge where starts in october ends and on new year's and you're just basically creating this new habit you're basically changing you're doing what you should be doing in the new year in october and going into the year strong and i thought that was so amazing i'm starting and i'm doing it i obviously gave myself like grace time and period because i was in europe for majority of october and i'm going to be traveling but having a new routine eating better Taking care of yourself and really prioritizing yourself is so important. I really feel like that's in the stage and the level that I'm at in my life. When when you prioritize yourself so much and you give yourself the all, you stop giving your attention to, let's say, boys or drama, negative um, energy, negative things that just doesn't serve you, you flourish. It turns from... The, it, from what you're feeding yourself on the inside, it comes out on the outside so beautifully and you can tell and you can just see how light it feels. And I was sitting there in Europe and I was just like, wow, God, like, you know, I didn't think I would ever get here. Like I, my dream trip, I'm on my dream trip. I was, I've been dreaming of Italy since I was little and I'm here and I'm healthy and I'm okay. Like, you know, it seemed unreachable. And I know that there's things that you may be feeling in your life that seem so out of reach. But if you once you just put in the work and you trust the will of God and you just see like, wow, it all flourishes and it comes to you in its perfect timing. 
And I love this concept of reinventing yourself, of giving yourself the all, because at the end of the day, it's just you and no one's going to care about your emotions. No one's going to pay attention to your growth more than you. And that's okay. Nobody has to be okay with where you're at. Like this is, you're doing this for you. And I encourage you. I encourage you. I'm even encouraging myself like to continue like don't let this once you get to a certain point in your life like you want more you want to keep going and you want to apply pressure and this is the time right now and I truly believe like at the end of the year apply that pressure now we're gonna go on a quick break and we'll be right back welcome back you guys go build a routine wake up at 7 a.m go to the gym every day make sure you're drinking your water read something I feel like reading is so important like it brings so much awareness and intelligence to you like you're better feeding yourself something from a book whether that's even like a romantic so sci-fi book like i just feel like once you're not paying attention to everything online on social media like your health skyrockets health social media is so draining and it carries so much weight that it's like at the end of the day you're just like oh like this is too much so definitely picking up a book, going outside. I feel like we don't go outside enough. Go outside, take those hot girl walks and reinvent this new you. Talk to yourself, journal. I'm so big on journaling, talking to a therapist, like giving yourself that time of day. Like this is this is the time where you give yourself the all. If you just got out of a relationship, girl, boys, this is the time for you to shine exit out those friendships that don't serve you if they i got a question the other day where it's like how have you learned to pick your friends and to be honest it hasn't been very easy at all like i feel like i've struggled picking friends or making friends and i now that i'm 27 and i'm in this stage of my life like i'm very aware my discernment and that's another thing once you start putting this work in you start realizing what you want more of like you want the same for your friends you want the same people around you doing the same things because once someone's not on the same page as you it's kind of like you're not getting me and it's not anything to like change people but it's like you know once there's a friend that's always working and there's a friend that's laying at home uh, at bed all in bed all day and it's like no like you know, we have to have the same goals, not the same goals, but you know what I'm saying? Like you have to have the same mentality mentality to inspire each other, to move each other, to keep people going. Like, and I feel like once you start making that circle smaller and it'll happen, it'll not, it'll naturally happen. This is something that comes to you unexpected. Like, you know, your circle gets smaller and you realize like, okay, okay, this person is for me, this person is for me. And you see their intentions, you see their purity, you see the genuineness through their hearts. Like you could just feel it. And um, you just become more self-aware. And when you're picking friends, you got to look at people that like, (sighs) I think more than anything, don't want to take anything from you or energy that are just, that don't bring peace. When they drain your energy and they don't bring peace, peace that is a big no no when you leave them at the end of the day when you guys go home separate ways and you feel like like i don't feel drained then i truly believe that those friends are meant to be in your life and the ones that do drain you i do believe that you know take a step away like take some time i feel like your energy and who you are as a person is so precious and important that you need to take care of it and more than anything the goal is ultimately to be better prepared for let's say in this case the new year developing healthy habits and giving yourself self-care um i'm really big on taking care of like my hygiene i'm being i'm a lady you guys i'm a lady i get my pedicure i get my nails done and it might be a little too much and it sometimes it might not be financially available to you guys but there's alternatives and there's way to do things men notice and i feel like okay I'm not going to lie because when I was in Europe, I got hit on like two times. I'm like, damn, I'm like, what's going on in the United States? No, but in Europe, like I really did. And I was like, maybe it's just how the door is open. Like I feel 
like when you're okay with yourself internally like you just come off as like a more attractive they want to know more about you and i felt like that out there in europe like i felt like wow like this is you know i felt like something keeps calling me or you know i feel like a lot of eyes are on me and i'm like why do people keep looking at me and i and i really thought i'm like wow like maybe i'm just really in another era and obviously people are different and even when i got back home like i feel like i'm not the same person as a lot of people around me and that's definitely okay but that's just more of a sign to me like okay you're leveling up now it's time now it's time to you know new things are coming greater things are coming i'm getting older me thinking i'm like 40 but i'm (laughs) i just turned into 27 but you know what i mean like you just kind of you get older and you're just like i want more i want to i want to do something and when you create these healthy habits and you're taking care of yourself those things just flow naturally and i'm such a huge believer in whatever happens happens and everything is in perfect timing and there's a reason for everything and i really want to encourage you guys like reinventing yourself or giving yourself your all is so rewarding when you start focusing on going to the gym i know people hate it there's people i hated it my whole life but now that i'm like here i enjoy it it's my private time when i'm sitting by myself getting my pedicure like like this is a privilege this is something that we can moments that we can really appreciate and just give ourselves the time pay attention to yourself more listen to what you're saying listen to what you're consuming listen to what you're reading and maybe you're not ready to do that right now maybe you're not ready to find out certain parts about you that you never knew about because that'll happen you start discovering yourself and you just see things you're like oh i didn't know i like this oh i really don't like that you start paying attention to those little details and you and sometimes it's like um it's very uncomfortable it's very there's a shift and you have to be okay with change you have to learn how to be like okay this is this is going to take me somewhere better do not stop once you feel that moment of uncomfortability keep going keep pushing yourself beyond that uncomfortability because there's something greater for you at that finish line and even you know even if the finish line keeps going farther and farther and farther you're getting closer you're also changing for the better you're changing for your future husband for your future children for your family members and at the end of the day i feel like that's what's important and i keep that in mind like change for the future you change for your for your children how are you going to break generational curses how are you going to be healthy for them and um this is such a pivotal moment at the end of the year because yes you're surrounded kind of by you know laziness it's the holidays it's it's loving it's you don't want to do you want to eat you want to do nothing you just want to chill it's like no give yourself build the discipline build the discipline to get outside build your routine read a book go meet somebody new like this is that time because it is something you're so used to being just at home doing nothing so when you switch it and you have um a new routine it's like whoa and it changes and you're ready to go into the new year i feel like that you know do not leave it for the beginning of the year do it now do this now and i promise you by the new year you're just gonna be like all right this year's mine that's it we're doing this i already feel amazing you don't even have to be like by this time in this in the middle of the year i want to have a built routine and i want to be in the gym and whatever whatever be already ahead of the game be a step ahead and be smarter this is a time to lock in apply the pressure and do not stop carry that discipline and go after your dreams this is the time to put that pressure ladies put the pressure we're gonna go on a quick break and we'll be right back all right welcome back you guys we were talking about our winter arc we're inventing ourselves and really just applying that pressure i definitely again apply that pressure ladies gentlemen if you want to go after something now is the time take yourself out i always say it being uncomfortable is the best thing Get out of your comfort zone and make sure that you prioritize yourself. 
I don't re- I don't think people realize how important it is to prioritize yourself, prioritize your mental health and see how it'll change. It'll change your whole life once you start doing that. Anyways, you guys, today's going to be a short episode. I wanted to thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I know that these little audio ones, this is one of my first audio episodes. I'm going to start doing more audio, you guys, especially if they're solos. I feel like they're more intimate, more private, and I want to be able to connect with you guys and yeah, on a deeper level. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, follow, and I will see you guys next Tuesday. Overcome for Podcast is a production of iHeart's My Cultura Podcast Network.